Hi, I'm going to give you a demo of um, the Project Dolphin, which integrates Google Wave into Sugar CRM. So on the left-hand side here, we've got the customer's view of Google Wave. And on the right-hand side here, we've got um, supporters view of Google Wave, as well as uh, Sugar CRM here. So as a customer, what I can do is I can create a new wave and add the Project Dolphin robot into the wave. And what this will do is it will add a support member and retrieve some of our data for us. Okay, so what we've got here is we've got our billing details and we've got the opportunity here to check if they're correct and amend them if they're not. So, for example, here we could enrich the data a little bit and correct any erroneous data that may be here. Uh, once we've finished with that, we can press continue and it will write these changes back to Sugar for us. So one of the first questions it asks us is, is it related to previous case? Well, in this instance, no, it's not. So what's going to happen now is a new case is going to be created in the background for us, and we can start filling in some details about this. So one of the first things it tries to establish is the start date. So we can select that from the calendar and continue. And it's going to try and establish the cause of the problem for us. So it's going to ask us a few questions. So is it an issue with our telephone? Yes. Is it a permanent issue? Yes, it is. Uh, do we receive a dial tone? Um, no, we don't. Okay, so it's told us that the test has failed, so we can press done to continue. So what this done is, is it's diagnosed the problem um, from the information that we've given it, and it's done a test on the line, and it's diagnosed that there is a problem with the line. So what happens now is um, a calendar is brought up and we're able to book an appointment with um, an engineer to come out and do some more diagnostics at, at the house. Um, so what happens here is it loads the, um, the user's calendar in um, on the green side and the engineer's calendar on the blue side. And you can see on the calendar appointments from both. And what this does is it, it checks for the first available date, which in this case is the 28th of February, and it proposes the appointment. So what we can do is we can either accept it or reject it. So in this instance, no, I'm not in on Sunday, so let's find a different date. And we could select Monday, for example. Uh, we could select time and propose it. Now what happens here is support will be informed of this and asked if they want to accept this date. Um, and if they press yes, then the appointment is created. Okay, the calendar disappears now and we're given a brief overview of um, the when the engineer will visit and we've also got the opportunity to rebook the appointment at a later date if we're not happy with it. Okay, so in support here, um, if we go into Sugar, um, we can find the account And we can look down here and we can see the case has been created here, uh, which is case uh, 96. And we've got a full over overview of the case. We've got um, the, the date that it started. Um, we're told that it's an issue with the telephone. Uh, the customer's issue is permanent. The customer does not receive a dial tone. And a test on the customer's line failed. And we can see here that we've got an engineer's visit on the 1st of March. What we can also do is we can view the wave. Okay, and we can use some of the features of Google Wave, such as playback. So what this will do is it will give us a complete overview of the conversation from beginning to end. So we can see here that Thomas started the, the wave, added Project Dolphin in. And we can see the questions that were raised. So is this related to the previous case? The next question, um, the date that, the, that it was first that it first occurred, etc. And we can move all, all the way through the wave like that. 